We built this Paula. city. Paula's down. For some reason. What is for me? What stone? Paula. Uh, it's up for me. Is it? Yeah. Must be Australia thing. Did you guys get on Getter? No, I, I did. I haven't yet. No. All these. All is it any, is it is it any good? I don't know. I mean, all these people were messaging me saying, um, oh, somebody's impersonating you on par or on Gitter. So then I was like, oh, shit, let me look at this, you know? And then I, I guess it just I guess it just turns out that they had reserved my Twitter account. Oh, um, right. It wasn't like tweeting anything, but uh, so then yeah, I did reserve. They reserve your name just in case you want it to make sure no one can take it till they like, entice you to come over. Yeah, yeah, pre-verified too, you know. Ooh, um, well. Is it what's it called? What's a tweet called on Getter? Is it a, a get? I'm not sure. What is it? I'm not actually not sure. Uh, I'm. I mean, I've got very little interest in it. Um, I've been, Maybe. you know, it's. it's I guess it says just a post, I guess. How do you, is get a G E T R R? No, two T's, one R. All right. Oh, it looks like it's automatically porting over my tweets. <laughs> Fucking hell. This, you, if you if you search for getter in google nothing comes i up. know yeah like cool. stories, what a coincidence stories about it come up stories about it come up but there's no actual link to to getter wow yeah. ain't that crazy i wonder what, why that is <laughs> yeah what a coincidence how about that maybe they need to do the seos better yeah yeah right i'm sure it's not suppressed <laughs> um yeah. Yeah, I'm so black pilled on alt tech right now. I, I mean, not for video, but yeah. for like, I mean, I, God, it was so crazy in that first week in Parlor. Like, holy shit. Like, there was, I think I had 150,000, I had more followers on Parlor than I had on Twitter. And it was like, I would post something and it would get like 5,000 likes. I'm like, holy shit, this is what it's like to not be shadow banned. That happens and, to me all the time, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just went away. Like it just collapsed. Yeah, that was that was because uh cause of, that was because of the January the sixth shit and like yeah. t like t it started with people getting their accounts pulled and then Amazon just pulled the plug on the whole fucking thing. Well it was yeah, I mean January sixth was the Democrats catch all to just do whatever the fuck they wanted for two months. It like, was literally like nine eleven, Jeremy. How could oh you? Oh my was god. Like nine eleven. I had one of like, these did you journalists guys... saying I went to therapy. I went to therapy because I survived Janet. Yeah, you survived right. I survived. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that did you guys see that the one I think it's a congressperson. His blue suit jacket that he was wearing that day is going to the Smithsonian. Like way to water the Smithsonian down. <laughs> it's so fucking bad. Yeah. It's not. It's not like oh yeah, this is the chair that was that the everyone sat in to sign the fucking Declaration of yeah. Independence. Yeah. It's like oh, this is the jacket some random guy had on that day that someone stole a podium. Yeah. Isn't it so crazy? I mean, you guys are foreigners, but like, you consume American press too. Yeah. It is so. You're, you're a fucking. You're a foreigner. No, no, I'm ethnocentric, man. The uh, United States is the center of the universe, but the the way people talk about it, like the way the Democrats talk about it, it really was their 9/11. And then it was like you look at it and it's like there's not. It was like nothing. It it was like not nothing. I I, I unless I'm missing. All of this, like, AOC was going on being like, oh, then somebody was knocking on my door. Bang, bang, bang. Get out. But I was in a building. I, I was two blocks away, but don't tell anybody. Yeah, she was in a Yeah, that was the, that was the police building. who came to rape and kill her. Yeah, right, right. And then he looked at me with anger in his eyes. 
Yeah, okay, way to editorialize that. I'm sure I'm sure he was annoyed that a couple of fucking Spurgs were uh, you know, standing in line uh at the Capitol. Now he had to go round up your dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they do they do overplay the January sixth thing though, don't they? Ridiculous. Well, did you see that? I can't believe. I don't know if Dank you made it on your second channel or not. But bearing this is ripe for you. Is the um, the Vice article about surviving? This is the story of the reporters that were on scene, and their and they were and their survival tales. Yeah, it sort of concerns me though that like if I do a video on that, YouTube will probably fucking strike me for fucking you know pushing terrorism or something like that yeah maybe like that's, they, they, they actually are saying like oh they were trying to overthrow the election they were trying to like it's the thing is like see if you take the capitol building it's who, like oh no what are we going to do in this country literally packed full of fucking military bases yeah like that, like, I mean, I'm sorry, like, but a bunch of guys in MAGA hats storming into one government building does not, this this isn't the October Revolution, right, where the country was that mismanaged that them taking over the whole building made everyone in the country go, oh shit, well, I guess this is the Soviet Union now. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's, that's not how it fucking works. Like, These... if, you, if you take over a country, you need to take over everything, not just walk into one building in an orderly fucking queue and then walk out the doorway fucking podium well it's the... how, how funny how funny is this right fucking january 6th's vladimir lenin was baked alaska yeah <laughs> oh, <God>. yeah <laughs> oh no the, the west will never be the same yeah the, he will be in the history books the uh, that was the day that democracy could have fell on that you know democracy where Biden totally got eighty one million votes. <laughs> totally, he totally did. Most popular president in history. Can't even spell his own fucking name. Oh my god! Today he he uh today in one of his most recent gaffes, he gave credit to, um, who, who are the terrorists from Afghanistan? The um. Al Qaeda. Al Qaeda or something like that. Oh, okay. He like gave credit to some terrorist group for some, he like misspoke. I was like, dude, this is like table stakes shit, bro. Like, you, yeah. you can't confuse uh, the a terrorist cell with like I don't know, I don't know somebody in chat will probably know, but yeah, he's an embarrassment every single day. There's been some some great some hilarious memes today though. Did you guys see that uh, creepy porn lawyer got uh, got uh, sentenced to prison? Three three years he, ago. Yeah, two and a half. Yeah, yeah. Um, what what for? What did he do? He tried to extort. Wait for it. Nike for twenty five million dollars. <laughs> Why? And Nike was like, Nah, player, that ain't happening. And so they pressed charges. He, I don't know. He he said basically he thought he could do to Nike what he was trying to do to Trump. You know, like just say whatever he wants and like get coddled by mainstream media. I think I saw he had like done like four hundred or five hundred something like appearances on CNN and all these because he was like Trump's nemesis. Yeah, not, yeah. Not he was he he represented uh, that washed up porn star. Uh, yeah. Stormy Dennis. Say, yeah. That, that that name is a name that you will never shake. He'll always be creepy porn lawyer. <laughs> yeah. That was Tucker. That was Tucker. Carlton. Yeah. It was, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. Perfect creepy porn lawyer. Yeah. That he. The best part of all that was like, I think most people 100% believe that Trump fucked her and didn't care. Like, I don't yeah. give a shit if he cheats on his wife. I literally expect every man or woman in ex powers in positions of extreme power to get laid. That's I don't care. So when they came out and she's like, "Oh, I'm his dick looks like a mushroom" or something like he was like she's like describing his dick selling her book. By the way, she lost her lawsuit so badly that she had to pay the president his legal fees. 
you don't lose legal fees unless you get totally BTFO'd. So he, he, he rides her back to try and smear the president, fails her, gets, gets, uh, has to send in legal fees. And then two months later, he's trying to extort Nike. And now he's getting 2.5 years and getting hard pipe and cocked in his ass for the next two years. <laughs> right. Right. Well, I wonder what, I wonder how, I don't know, look this up. I've, it's, it's Avenardi, wasn't it? Aven, Avenardi. Basta. Remember wonder, him and his Basta. I wonder how you, how did he try to extort Nike, I wonder? Anything different? I think that's the thing is, I, I just oh, assume yeah. that if, if you are in any position of power, you do cocaine and you fuck hookers. Right. I, I just immediately assume that shit. Like that was when people were saying stuff about uh, politicians. Like he was caught in a room snorting cocaine off of a hooker's ass. Yeah. I'm like, based. Right. <laughs> Man, like, what do my gas like, prices look like? Are gas prices good? Okay, then I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's that's kind of like saying like I don't care if if someone's a politician and they do that shit. Like, see if they actually are a good politician, then I don't give a fuck. But see if it's like, uh, did you did you know that all of these like great musicians from the eighties were on drugs? Well, their music's fucking excellent, though, man. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah so. As long as it's like a business transaction between two consenting adults, I couldn't be bothered. If the president was banging a different hooker every day, like you got to get the poison out. Like I don't care. That's you just that's, you know that's redistributing the wealth, man. Yeah. Like yeah. we've all we've all we've all we've all been there. Couldn't like care you, less. You've, 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 we've all been single. Yeah. We've all we've all known you know that that girl. Right. The one the one the one that you message and go ah what are you up to right now? We call you know what we call that in, in, in America we call there's two things we call that it's either at least among my friends group, it was a slump buster. Uh, that was, you know, there was like two or three. <laughs> there was like two or three girls that we all knew around, when we were all like college age that were just slump busters. And then um, we would also lovingly refer to them as like, hey, well, you know, sometimes you just need a greasy like McDonald's cheeseburger. Like I'd prefer steak, but, you know, sometimes you fucking guys just got to eat, you know. Yeah, we've yeah, I mean, we we had girls like that in our friend group. Yeah, we every everyone in the friend group had like flung flung it up at one point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, and and it was uh, the problem was like we had one guy. In the, I'm not going to say names or anything like that, but basically like he he. he is, is this the, is this the one guy that fell in love with her? Oh yeah. No. Oh. yeah. He he started he started he started dating her and shit, and we we're like, what are you doing, man? Like that's. <laughs> That's that's not what women like that are for. <laughs> like, you know, man, and like, and to to be fair, I, I I haven't checked in a while, but I believe that all these years later they're actually still together. You know, man. Oh, but hey, it's like, right, I, then. yeah, but I mean, if if they're happy, they're happy. That's absolutely fine. But it's just like it was so awkward how like even after they'd been dating for like a, a year and a half and everything, they were still hanging out with us and all that, and we were all just like. This girl oh, has fucked everyone in this room. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> yeah. So that's it's. It must be more like I. I. This story is like, there's a guy, and God bless his heart, you know, dating a dating a girl from the uh, the local pub who, uh, similar situation. Like the list of people that they haven't fucked is shorter, and like they started dating him and everyone started giving him shit. Like, come on, bro. Like I, he had just broken up with his last girlfriend. So hence the slump buster. It's like, Hey man, I understand. I'm not going to make fun of you. Normally I would make fun of you. And they've been dating now for like two years and it's a disaster. They're always fighting, but I feel like they're just staying together to like own the haters. Like they, everyone, and do, and do they still, yeah. do they still frequent the bar? Do they still go to the bar? Where, they they did in the beginning. Where... They did in the beginning, but now they go to a different bar, right? Because you know, I'm sure he was tired of seeing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, like it was like he had to feel the looks, like, like, like yeah. I actually like the guy too. He's really nice, 
but I'm like, <laughs> come on, man. Like I told you to get in and get out, not marry it. I, I, I would have been a complete fucking dick about it, man. Like, if he was talking about her and went, oh, like, she, she, she's really great. She's amazing. I would go, yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone knows. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that thing she does where she just slightly nibbles on your balls while she's wanking your cock. Oh, she's, she's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. We've been there. Two out of three men agree. The, uh, <laughs> the, uh, yeah, it's sad. But hey, they're still sort of together. I see, I see her. Out, I see her out on the town occasionally when he's not around. I just don't say anything. You know, it's not my place. So I like sometimes this can be funny and sometimes it can be horrible. But have you ever had it where it's not fun if the people like see, for example, if the guy and the girl are both your friends and they're going through a breakup, right? Yeah, and that's yeah. all, it's awkward as fuck because you're friends with both of them. Like those ones are not fun. That I, sucks. I don't like you have to ones. pick a side. Yeah. That yeah. Sucks. Yeah. And even even if you try your hardest not to, you end up. You, you end have, up, to. You have to. Yeah. 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 Well, but but then well, see well, they, someone... they they resent you if you don't pick a side. They yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, it's it's brilliant though if it's someone if the person is like a person from outside the group that's dating your friend. And they have a fucking nuclear breakup. Uh, they have uh, a fucking nuclear. Like I had one friend who just <laughs> one night when he was drunk, he he was a little bitch boy to her. Like I went I went through my bitch boy phase when I was young, where I let, I was like, oh my god, a girl is dating me. Better do everything she said. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. honey, it's time for your four p.m. dick flattening. Right. Yes, honey. Like like yeah. that type of shit, right? Until until I grew some fucking balls and realised that <laughs> women are trash. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but but he what a he great message for your daughter. Days. And one one night he was out and she was starting to basically she was kicking off because he he committed the horrible act of he was out drinking. Oh no! With the, boy, with the boys, and and she immediately started with her. Are there any girls there? Oh. Like shit, right? And it started, and like the the more the night went on, the drunker and drunker he got, and he was sitting there talking about how much he fucking hated her, and like we were just sitting there That's feeding so him toxic booze, too. yeah, yeah, we were just feeding him booze, going, mate, she's a fucking bitch, you don't fucking need her, man, like none of us like her, like if you want to fucking break, we were all just basically going break up, we're now do it, it'll oh. be funny, and oh man, and he basically went. I'm going to do it by text. And we were like, no, no, put it on, put it right no. now. In yeah. fact, put her, on, put her on loudspeaker. <laughs> oh, man. And we were like, we want to fucking hear it, right? And then basically he bitched out and sent a text. Uh, and it was a, it was a, it was a weak as fuck text. It was something like, I just, I just don't think it's working out. And, you know, that's like that type of thing. She's right? going to show up. No, she, no, she instantly fucking phoned him, right? Yep, yep, and she yep. was screaming. <laughs> yeah. she, she, she was screaming at him down the phone, right? And we're all sitting there, like, laughing, but we're all, like, trying to listen. We're all doing the whole, like... <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> like, trying, trying not to fucking laugh. And you could just... I Like, in, inside his head, you could just see all, like... He'd been with her for, like, two years. You could just see all of that bubbling to the surface, and he just went, fuck, tactical nuke fucking inbound, man. Like, oh. He... he <laughs> He starts screaming down the phone and fucking let her have it, man. He was just fucking. He was saying some shit, and oh man, and he's, it was just beautiful. And the whole time we were laughing and fucking cheering and shit, man. And we were like, "Go you!" And the thing is, see, after he hung up the fucking phone, he was a completely different person, like for the better. Oh yeah, for the better. Uh, anyway, it was weird. It's like see how after a breakup you're usually like sad and shit, and even if you, even if things didn't really work out with the other person, you still feel sad. He was like, he was like someone who'd just been released from captivity. <laughs> like he was just fucking elated, and I was I was happy as fuck for him. But we, even though it was part, we want to see this because it'll be funny, but also this is the right thing she's awful you have to break yeah. up with her like that yeah usually when i go out like with my guy friends like at, you train up a little bit like it took a while to get the you know the wife kind of like hey don't text me when i'm out like you know if you have a question or whatever that's cool but like don't be fucking blown you know texting me nonstop. like i told you i'm going out i you know i'll talk to you when i get home 
we usually have like a couple guys we'll allow like one or two texts and that's it like then it's you're getting clowned the entire just just go home man just go home like if you or just bring her along i mean i'd rather that than you sit on your phone all night texting her like br bring her in here then otherwise i can't fucking stand it yeah you know, i don't it's... i don't mind stuff if you're like taking a selfie like send send to your fucking like wife or girlfriend or something i don't i don't care about that shit like that's fine but not like looking down at your phone the entire night no it's that we we have like a rule at the bar like phone's not at the bar like phone's in your pocket like i just can't it's a small bar but i'm just like you know even with my own friends i get pissed i'm like dude are we hanging out or are you fucking you know are you browsing twitter yeah it's a, it's it's a pain in the ass when people are on their phones when you're out. You, you know um you know you know what the, the 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 really awkward iteration of your story there dank is is when you have when you have your mate right who's who who comes and has a drink with you and he's like, no, fuck this bitch. I, I fucking hate breaking up with her. She's a fucking whore. She, and, and you're getting into it and you're like, yeah, yeah, no, nah, she, she is a fucking whore, man. You should do it. And they break up for like three days. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, there it is like, oh, no, I thought about it. She, I was just angry that night. I said some stuff I didn't mean. And you're <laughs> then like, then you see them together. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Totally, me, me too. I me said some stuff I didn't uh, mean as well. Yeah, yeah. You're standing up at their wedding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that uh, cool. uh, Sander, <laughs> you're the best man, and the speech just opens up with, despite my best efforts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really tried. <laughs> Avery uh, for five says, "Dink, uh, what do you say, diet?" Diocletian, Diocletian, I don't know how to Diocletian, say Diocletian, yeah. For Mad Diocletian, Lad, we'll uh, Newt says they literally refer to the capital as a sacred temple. The six was the equivalent of interrupting the selection of a new pope to them. <laughs> Shane <laughs> Kerwood for 30, two of my favorite YouTubers, and Jeremy. Oh, super fucking stoked to catch you guys live. Tism is the best kept secret on YouTube. It really is. Listening to the backlog at works keeps me laughing on the shit days cool I like that prime night says greeting gents the left are really digging their own grave with this kid stuff have you heard of white ipa matter beer from poland it's on youtube no i haven't but i'll just check it out an actual flag for 20 jeremy i hope you enjoyed my birthday and kept all your fingers i did pass this along to the bagpipe american and upside down american too will do hey i finally and finally might pay them after seven yeah. months of I've now promised yeah. an amount. <laughs> Madcap for 10. I've spent a year and a half paying taxes, paying the unemployed. Now they want more inflation, giving those of us an extra $300 for working the whole time. I hate her secretary. Yeah, no shit. Infinity 8 says, I met Allison back in 2016. She only got three years. She would have got way more, but she was a very cooperative witness, is what I'm told. Uh, Peter so, R. Yeah. The um, she was the queen pin of uh, Nixium. Peter R for five. Oh, I would not object to give the occasional cortex an angry, degrading shag. Those eyes just make you want. Wait. Oh, occasional cortex. Okay, I see. That's AOC. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, let's. I mean, outside of her teeth, she's a traditionally decently good-looking woman. You know, I yeah, think that that's, that's yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Joey Bryant for 10. The only real live news coverage of January 6th was angry cops broadcasting for DNN Donut News Network. <laughs> yeah. Video Bros says, walked yesterday for exercise and wore my The Media is the Virus shirt from We Are a Change. Truck driver said, nice shirt. And if you got a chicken farm and 10 chickens, you're a chicken tender. That's true. Barack Drone Obama for five says, here's a little joke for you guys. Why couldn't Helen Keller drive? Because she was too busy making funny faces. <laughs> also, she was retarded. Uh, Infinity 8 for two. Never forget that Sue started the burnt steak meme. She did. That was one of her darkest secrets, too. Did she really? I think so, I yeah, yeah. I think I think she did. She yeah. said something like, yeah, it's, uh, that was her idea of a funny meme. She was like, Marcus <laughs> likes his steaks burnt. Is it that is a funny meme. Yeah. It is a funny meme. Yeah. Uh, no, it's, 
a noise that utter shit out of me. I know, that's why I, it's a funny meme. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's the fact that like even my fucking dad has <laughs> caught on to it, man. And that's the one person you, pff, you get it well done, you little poof. You little poofy boy. Yeah. You little poofy boy, get your steak well done. I didn't raise no poof. <laughs> I'm like, fucking hell. Rock says, uh, so Dink, did Sue give any grief at the end of your collab with Critical? Oh, uh, it was, uh, well, basically, what what usually happens is uh, I I was supposed to I was supposed to take the baby. Oh boy! Um, however, the stream went on for uh, a bit longer mm. than it was supposed to, and when I saw the time, I went, "Oh shit!" I need to jump off. Uh, went up, went upstairs, and uh, she's like in bed, and the baby's in a little crib and all that. And I'm like, "I'm really, really sorry. Do you, do you want me to take the baby? No, it's fine." Oh, that's that's bad. Though. That's worse than getting yelled at. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm like, oh, okay, oh, okay, night, night, night. Love you. <laughs> yeah, you like, slink back out of the room. Yeah, I was like, anyway, I'm gonna go do Tesm now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd much rather get yelled at. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's like I'd rather you be mad at me than disappointed. That's even worse. Yeah. You know? Hey, Dink, you were great on Critical Drinkers. And Comic Note says, hey, fellas, found a better job with higher paying. Plus, is stream about that one guy in San Francisco? No, but Comic Note, thank you for Super Chat. Did you guys see that video in New York City? Some poor fucking subway workers mopping the floor. And this <laughs> just this fucking absolute unit of what is clearly a bum just starts shitting in his bucket. He tries to fight him off, and he just instantly loses the fight. I imagine he probably makes between minimum wage and slightly more than minimum wage. He probably oh, just was like, boy. this ain't worth it. <laughs> I would have just walked off the job then. And That's now. it. Fuck yeah. That. Nope. 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 The guy pulls his pants yeah. down, starts taking a shit, stands up mid shit, fights the guy the fight, off, the, then sits the back down. Mark. Yeah. Oh, fucking Amer America is a fucking weird place, man. Nah, dude, that's New York, man. They're their own breed. That shit doesn't happen in the Midwest. Um, the the other thing is what do, I'm surprised. This is a classic bearing video too. Um, the San Francisco Gay Choir put out a little song this I did. week. I saw something about that this morning. I, I did see something about that. I was it intrigued me. I haven't looked into it yet, but uh, yeah, we'll put that on the list. Yeah, so they put out a song that included the lyrics, "We're coming for your children. We're going to convert them." Um, I'm assuming they meant like to allies. I hope. Yeah. That's what they meant. They mean, they mean to cock. They mean to. I mean, you know, they mean to cock. <laughs> and uh, within, like, I think the ratio at the time when I saw the video was eight, 88 upvotes to fifty seven hundred downvotes, and they took it down. No, it's got to be archived. So Counterpoint: not... Chicago is in the Midwest. Fair, but I don't really include Chicago in the in that mixture. The uh, yeah oh there's a million reuploads on Twitter or on YouTube they're they're everywhere. Why? Tell me this, right? Why is Chicago considered to be in the Midwest? That's it is in the Midwest. Well, it's on, but yeah, but the Midwest seems to be on the east of America. No, the Midwest is like Wisconsin, Illinois, Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, like do, right down the center. If you look at a map of America, yeah, like say Minnesota is more on the. East. Oh, you're saying it's like more geographically on the west, or I mean, it's more centered. If you were to start at Minnesota, well. So yeah, so Wisconsin is is more on the right side of America than the left side. Yeah, yeah, it's largely considered Midwest. Like if you go, I mean, Wisconsin's absolutely considered Midwest, 
but like oh, I know it is. I, I know it is. But like, if you to look at the, I'm looking at it now. Look yeah, at it, I feel know? you. It's yeah. on the right yeah. half of of yeah yeah, yeah yeah yeah. Wouldn't you say that like um fucking I don't know Idaho and Montana and shit of the Midwest? You well, you know what? Like Ohio and Indiana are considered Midwest too, and that goes way further to the right. You're all west to me. That's true. But you're we're also fucking, east if you go all, the other way. You're all fucking north to me. Well, then you get down to Kentucky. That's not considered Midwest or Tennessee. So Midwest is really like Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Michigan. That's the Midwest. Maybe you include Kansas, Nebraska, Nebraska and the Dakotas too. Yeah, see, I, I could understand those those ones you just said, like the Dakotas and the Nebraska and all that being Midwest, but anything sort of to the right of that seems to be, I mean, the Middle East, <laughs> if you will. Yeah, yeah, if you will. Yeah, yeah. It's true. I'll take it up with the map makers. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, just, I'm sincerely interested. Why is it called the Midwest? Is it because America was like first just populated on the eastern seaboard and like the the, the stretches of of civilization were just like your illinois and and wisconsin's and shit and the rest was like the indian i don't know i'm not sure i would i view kentucky for example as a south that's like the start of the south for me kentucky you know tennessee alabama Alabama's like deep south. Yeah. Louisiana. But then, yeah, it is kind of a moving target. Like, I don't consider Utah West Coast, but I consider Pennsylvania East Coast. And they're both one state, you know, one state over, kind of. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Tim says uh, for 20, hey, Dank, you should look into Joe... Beryl as a mad lad. Another suggestion for the famous or infamous General William Sherman for his glorious march to the sea with little burning Atlanta on the side. With a little burning Atlanta on the side. Yeah. Striker Zach says, eat the bacon, drink the beer. Also, the Count of Dank needs a castle and land to put it on. Only then will Scotland be free. I am the savage OJM. I never know. Is that a is that a Scottish thing? You do that. Art. Artmesia for five says, can someone tell Sue to turn the economy back on? She's sleeping right now. I don't think Dake wants to go in there again. No. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Peter for five says it's important AOC didn't like it too much. In other words, Brown Town. Oh, okay. I'll take either road. I'm not like that. Bristol Berserker for five. Bearing since he's a fan of yours, you should ask Phil uh, Anselmo. Oh, Phil oh, from Phil, Phil from yeah from Pantera to come on the show. Dink and Jeremy hit the gym. I drive by the gym all the time, bro. I'm like so close to going in. One of these days. Yeah, I've got to hit the gym too. It's just I'm not on camera, so I avoid the criticism. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I, I go to the gym. I'm always on the machine, the vending machine. Yeah, <laughs> all right. <yeah. laughs> the uh, I only go in to take a selfie and then I leave. The uh, Chris, I hate those. Yeah. I hate those guys. They're yeah, the worst part of the gym. yeah. They're, girls they're, do it too. Yeah. Girls are the worst about it. Uh, it's just like one of the worst ones like see the guy have you ever seen the, you know the mirrors the, the reason the gym's covered in mirrors is so that you can check your posture from yeah. any angle mm -hmm. like that's why they're there I've seen guys literally walk up and like look at themselves and, and like they, they're looking at their muscles in definition and these guys it's like they want to fuck themselves they're uh, like oh yeah look at you look at you you fucking stud I fucking hate those guys and one of the worst times I had was a guy came up to me right and i thought he wanted a spot and he just went yeah can you take a picture of me when i'm mid rep and i'm like are you fucking <laughs> oh my god man, man. Like, that's fight I those I are fighting words like it's I <laughs> yeah I, I didn't know what to do so i was just like yeah okay right fine whatever i took i took a, i took a few for you mate like there there we go 
Did you go back? Did you go back into the locker room and take some more? No, <laughs> I should have done that. Yeah. He wasn't looking just yet. <laughs> you gave you gave me your phone and told me to take a picture. <laughs> I am Count Dankula. You made your own bed, <laughs> fucking lion. <laughs> yeah, look me up. <laughs> yeah. The Sonic King says so. Apparently, creepy porn lawyer cried before being sentenced. Wish I could have seen it. Yes, he did. Ball. It's out there. The video's out there. Uh, Chris says. Never get to catch you guys live. Throw in some good vibes to the two dads. Put a baby in your vegan already, Jeremy. As low effort as Bearing's content is at this point. Look, I'm trying. It just, you don't get pregnant the way we do it. Malicious gore for five. Wyoming is an open. Go away. I agree. Kill Dog says, it's called Midwest because it's midway between the east and the west. It's true, but his point is that, like, Indiana isn't midway. But it's still considered the Midwest. Same with Ohio, you know. Yeah. Um, the- so yeah. So so what? Yeah. So what I'm saying basically, like, with that logic, is like, is uh, is Montana the the Mid East? There is no Mid East. There is only Midwest and Zool. Uh, Mr. Bentham says the state ident this state identifies as Midwest. Don't be a bigot, Bearing. Duffy B, historically, the Midwest was the north was north of the Ohio River and east of the Mississippi and culturally distinct from the Plain States due to pre-Civil War settlement patterns. There you go. A tip and a history lesson. Uh, Shane says, just kidding. Jeremy, love your shit, too. Been watching you more than Tim lately. Uh, well, it sounds like you have good taste. Congrats on the Wee Mad Lass and the new studio, Dank. Feminist Builders video had me dying, bearing, looking forward to the new vids. That was a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. Prime Knight says, uh, pedos try to be so chipper, but not when they're put into the wood chipper. Have you guys heard of Sultans of Chatelet podcast? It's like Lotus Eaters, but memes. Uh, no. Right. I have not. What, what was it? How do, you, how do you say that again? I'm going to look at that. Sultans of Chatelet. Where's oh, Dame cool. Pesos? I miss him. Yeah, so do I. I. Yeah, I was thinking about him the other day. I was, so I looked up his channel, and there hasn't been a fucking a uh, soilless mat for fucking months. I know. There, I, 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 and like, he hasn't posted on Twitter. I know he was like. I know that he there was something going on with his health or his country or so, something like that. I don't know. He just disappeared. Health or his country, or you know, something. well, I know it's mammalogy, like, country. like, mammalogy had the flooding, right? He's in Honduras, I think. And then, um, like, it's crazy because all his videos do really well. Oh, m- mammalogy, yeah, fucking earth, they do. No, no, I mean, Dame, like, Dame should be feasting right now on, on the, on the battle of the le- uh, in the left. Like, you've got. Yeah. Shank versus um, Jimmy Dore versus Kyle Kalinske. This this is like his time to shine. Yeah, yeah. I heard. Uh, I heard. Uh, I was watching a Tim clip this morning about how how Shank thinks that everyone who has ever worked with him has changed. <laughs> yeah. yeah everyone everyone who he no longer associates with has changed and he's is some sort of dickhead yeah you, you changed chink you, you're you're the fucking idiot mate he used to be funny if that if you can believe yeah, that we're talking about bestiality and fucking you know camel toe and shit didn't they used they used to have a segment yeah, called yeah. No, name that toe or something like that yeah, I was just trying to think of that. Yeah, <laughs> not, yeah his name that camel toe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was he. He's really he got that like his peak was when he got that he got a huge injection of cash. I, I want to say it was Soros, but I don't know that for a fact. With somebody gave them a ton it was, of. Um, it, it, it was um, wasn't it actually fucking the Qatari government or something something weird like oh no it was Al Jazeera okay whatever it was yeah Yeah. they got a big like a big chunk of money their their channel is fucking dead they have 5 million subscribers and they almost never break 100,000 views almost never less than 10% of the time yeah unless they pander to um 
orange man bad. Like he Trump or uh, Cenk should have been careful what he asked for. Like that's that's exactly what you're seeing on um, you're seeing with CNN too. Like yeah. their whole audience yeah, is is uh, fucking TDS people. And now without Trump, they don't have anything to talk about. Yeah, yeah, but they, they, but they, they, they still do, and I, and I see this on YouTube. All the, so the YouTube leftists still fucking drone on about how Trump did this and Trump did that, and and how Trump was wrong about this. Like he's he's the ex fucking president. Give him a break. It's been a yeah. year, <laughs> practically. Yeah. You know, like what do you? I mean, even even people that voted for him are over it. You know what I mean? Like, it's really you weird. That, um, you see how I'm always saying about like the fucking Gamergate people? They're basically like the Civil War reenactors of the internet, like constantly reliving a battle that they lost. Basically, like, see how like Gamergate in 2021 is utterly fucking irrelevant, right? How long was Gamergate? That's seven years. Yeah, and that's like a hundred in internet years. Yeah, like yeah. seven seven years ago was Gamergate. Like, f it's not fucking relevant now, man. It's closer to a decade now, right? And it's it's. Yeah. But the thing is, see, with Trump, I guarantee you, man, see, in seven years, you're still going to get like, yeah, Trump, orange man, bad. Even though Trump's going to be fucking retired and he's be fucking like Florida hotel and shit, not giving a fuck anymore. People will still bring it up and will still blame him for fucking everything, man. Most of the, if you look at that, you know that Paid Shill, uh, Brooklyn Dad. Uh, he's yeah. a paid Democrat shill, um, which is always it was just always so hilarious when that came out. Like Brooklyn Dad defiant. Oh, you get paid fifty grand a year to send tweets, uh, and the and who really got him was Jimmy Dore. Like Jimmy Dore fucking roasted him. Uh, yeah, Jimmy Dore's Jimmy Dore. They uh, had a, a fucking redemption since. Uh, remember that time he spat? Oh, at, that was spat it. On Alex Jones? Yeah, that was. I yeah. hated him from that day, but he he has been on a good yeah. redemption arc. Yeah. Yeah, mainly just because he shits on on Chink. I, I just love that. I love that about him. He just shits on Chink. Yeah. Oh, did you see? Did you see Anna Kasparian come out and and accuse him of sexual harassment? Oh my like, god! Po yeah, what, twenty years five ago. Years yeah. Yeah, five years or six years after the fact. It's like, hey, remember that time you said that my my skirt was short? Well it probably was it your probably fucking was. Slut. Yeah. Put on a more appropriate fucking skirt. You're meant to be a news anchor, you fucking dickhead. Yeah, and, so, and another time I, I I like your jeans. Where did you get them? I want to buy some for my wife. And she's like, Remember that time you sexually harassed me? Fucking what a bitch. I can't stand that that woman. Anna Kasparian's a knob. I'd I'd still pump her. Well, yeah, oh yeah, I'd still, yeah. yeah. Mate, Come on, guys. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're not crazy. But the there's no mutual exclusivity between those two things. Yeah, me. and I mean, sometimes I'd, it's I'd, a I'd, sometimes it's actually a positive <laughs> correlation. Like I'm absolutely. just yeah. I'm just saying, right right wing men are what left wing women actually want, and they hate us for it. That's a fact. That that's <laughs> yeah. a fact. Well, it's just it's so funny when you look at like. Like even like uh, traditional conservative right wing men, they're I mean like I I can say this like, in, compared to left wing men, like they're just way more they're way better looking they're in way better shape, they're way more confident. Like there's no way like a guy like Jack Posobiec, you know like traditionally good looking dude like who is there on the left, Chank, uh, yeah fucking <laughs> like, like, like chunky Sam Cedar. Yoga. Yeah, fucking C Sam Cedar and his that's, age. That's, he fucking looks like he has AIDS. That's, that's all you need. That's all you need to do, right? Just just walk up in front of them and lift up something that weighs more than ten kilos. They'll just come, and they'll they'll yeah. all be like, "Oh, I haven't seen something like that in such a long well, time." Like, well, you, you don't even, like, you don't even like, you don't even need to put put in that much effort, Tank. Or you just tell one of them to shut the fuck up. And yeah. they're like, "Oh, this is new." <laughs> like, I'm just I I, <laughs> look. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying, right? Left-wing women will screech at you if you call them names and abuse them on Twitter. 
in private, they fucking love it. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, yeah, guaranteed. Yeah, they're fucking. They're all about you know oppress me, daddy. Uh, the Sue's, Sue's left wing. Just thought. So. Yeah, I had a feeling that's where you're going. Yeah, I mean, do you know that people actually get really mad when I make fucking jokes like that about Sue? Like everyone's oh. like, no, Sue, Sue is pure. Sue is wholesome. Sue is lovely. And I'm like, well, we've got a baby, so guess how that fucking happened? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brian Stelter. Yeah, there you go. Brian Stelter. It, Brian on the Stelter. right, you have Tucker Carlson, a well-kept guy, takes care of himself, fit. On the left, you have Brian Stelter. No. Brian, Brian Stelter looks like a fucking Friar Tuck stuntman. Like, honestly, yeah. like, <laughs> it does. It's just, it's just this little angry egg. <laughs> why is this egg yelling at me i i think it's hilarious too because all of the like uh all those left our left-wing screechers like going after dan crenshaw i'm like in private any one of you would be fucking tearing your fucking pants off trying to fuck this guy and then then they constantly disparage him the there's so yeah. many cases like that on the right um i think that's probably you know there's something to that. There's probably a deeper, like, yeah, resentment yeah. It's called it, 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 no. It's called women like men. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. They like men. They don't want some. Like, I think. I think the whole cucking thing's a fucking test. Like, I think we should be in like an open relationship, but like, right, right, I'm, right. I'm the only one that's allowed to like fuck people. You know, man. And then like these guys will be like, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. I'll be open. You know, yeah, fucking like, get out. Yeah. I, I still love that story of the woman that pure tried to cuck her man and go, I want an open relationship. And the guy was like, all right, okay. But he started fucking like way more people than her. And he got, he started going to the gym and he got fucking jacked. Yeah. You know, man, and, she, and she was fucking furious about it. Yeah. She got like one date that did, did that just didn't go anywhere. And he, yeah, he was just slaying pussy. That was funny <laughs> as fuck. I remember that. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, that's that's a classic. Uh, a cl it's just what they want in private versus what they think. Like, there's no way that you know you label masculinity as toxic, but traditional masculinity is exactly why so many women are going back to being like tra wanting to be trad con wives. Like, there's a reason there. You know, hashtag not all women. Yeah, like I, I think it's uh, a woman can can do. I, I personally feel that a, a woman's place is in in the home and raising babies. But like, that's just what I feel. Women can do what they want. Oh yeah, if you Brian's... want to go and be a career, career woman and shit. That's fine. That's fine. But you know, Brian Stelter <laughs> is thirty four years old. There is what? Not, there is not a chance he's the same age as me. There is not a chance. No. Brian Look it up. The same age. As Look me. it up. Look it up. No, he's not 34. Just Google he's it. Fucking... I know you're at your computer. He's 40. Nope, look at it. He's 35. 35. There's no way. He's only two years <laughs> older than me. <laughs> <laughs> fucking shit. <laughs> Holy <Wow>. shit. Ah, <laughs> fucking hell, man. Wait, hang on a sec. It says born 1985. So that would... Yeah, oh yeah, that would make him... Yeah, he's two September. years younger than me. How do I... <laughs> I look better <laughs> than Brian Stelter. Like, fuck me, man. Like, that's... He, he, fucking, he, he lost the fucking genetic lottery, didn't he? Well, imagine a whole life of eating shit. How would you look? Like, that. Yeah. that's all he does is... I mean... Figur figuratively and literally. Yeah, right. Uh, uh, Cisco... Uh... Star for five TYT, one of the many outlets that found corporal money for activism was profitable than journalism, more profitable, but chasing the orange dragon will will drag them down. Yeah, that's exactly right. And it has because now what do they get? See, what they did is they said, we're more progressive than Joe Biden. Every time they suck the dick of whatever the Democratic candidate is. And the second the tides turn, they'll say, well, actually, uh, I never liked Hillary Clinton anyway. I knew we were going to lose. And then and now that Joe Biden actually won, they don't have anything interesting to say. 
Uh, Seamus McBride says Brian Seltzer looks like they've made him stop eating babies. <laughs> Nick Van Neal says uh, AJW has taken up the Dami Peso slack when it comes to TYT drama. He is. He's doing a good job. He's doing a good job. Yeah. Dead Rob's Beard uh, says you guys should check out John Cohn. Coin. He was arrested for driving his tank in Ohio, and then for protecting his junk with mines, which killed some teenagers. I love it. Uh, America. Yeah. Yeah. That, that could sounds be, like a mad lad. That could be anyone here. Uh, have some peasant money, you lovely mad lads. Thank you. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Andrew says, bearing more videos of dogs wrangling emus. I saw that. That was funny. And Art for yeah, five that, says, that, fun. That's, that's actually, that's, sorry, that, that's actually my dad's dog. He took that video yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I read the description. Uh, Art says, fun fact, Oklahoma means red man in Cherokee. When do we get canceled? <laughs> well, I mean, we went from the Redskins to the Washington football team. Uh, what? Yeah, yeah, they used to be called the Washington Redskins. Now they're called the Washington football team. Jesus Christ. Yikes, McGee for five says, back home we call the Slump Busters Igloos because the gang and I were all Eskimo brothers. <laughs> the other, um, there was one other topic I thought I wanted to discuss, but we're running out of time. I thought um, there's this Portland Antifa model that I wanted to bring up, but now I think I lost the tweet. No. No. Oh. Co Coconut Tackle in the chat says, Bearing's dad sounds just like Bearing putting on a dad voice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah, 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 he does. Yeah. Pretty accurate. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, look at what what look what Antifa does to you. Hold on a sec. Uh, yeah, I'll just put it here. I mean, Jack just tweeted it out. This is what leftism does to you. Yeah. Oh, what is this? Who is this? Is this some bar model? Of, oh wow. Oh yeah. Gross. It's like, remember Moldy Locks used to be really beautiful girl, too? Yeah. 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 Uh, Derna for five says, Democrat logic to its conclusion. Only the police should have guns. The police are racists. Only racists should have guns. Well played. Yeah. Morgan Scott, have some beer money love from Michigan. I appreciate you. Yeah. Uh, Bernsey says, I turned 20, 35 today. Hey, happy birthday. And I have all my hair and still get ID'd. Go, go, ginger supremacy. That Brian Seltzer needs help. Yeah, well, don't, you know. You just don't, don't go out in the sun. Yeah, and, you know, you're probably doomed to a life in purgatory after death as you have no soul. So I think that that's probably, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, what do you guys got going on this week? Well, I guess I better make some videos, you know. Pull out the old fucking... The old computing machine and start talking into the old microphone can. But uh, I've been a bit sick this last week, so that's why the why the absence. But um, yeah, that's what I got going on this week. What about you, Dank? I recorded a mad lad today, and one of the beautiful things was walking out of the little studio and just handing the SD card to my editor and going, "It's all you now." <laughs> Man, like, nice. that was, that yeah. was I'm still constructing the big main studio. I've made I've made my little side studio for like uh, my second channel videos, but uh, so I'm using that as a temporary studio to record the big main Mad Lads. But we've got all the furniture in the office. I just need to build a build a finish building a wall and then wallpaper and paint, big, and then that should yeah yeah that should be us like good to go. What's the commute and like? That, Oh, really easy. Yeah. Really easy for me. Because yeah. uh, it's in Glasgow. It, isn't Sue going to be – it's going to be an adjustment for her. You, I mean, you you haven't left the house in probably, I don't know, what is it, 15 years now? Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. for, for work. For work. For work. Yeah, I know. She, she, she says that she gets sad because, like, she, she, she likes to come into my room and talk to me now and again, and, like, she, she goes, oh, yeah, he's not here. Isn't that? Gonna, that's going to be really nice, though. Trust me. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm really starting. I'm I'm starting to think about building a studio. Yeah, yeah. Do, it, do, I, do I know the thing I've realised? See, see, since I've started, see, since I've made the studio and I've been in there and I've been working like just in the studio and I have set work hours where I'm not in the house, like. I get so much work done. <laughs> I get, yeah. I get so saying. much fucking work done. Yeah, yeah. You know, any, anyone that's married, you know what I mean? Right? I get so much fucking work done. Yeah. 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 It's, um, I, I mean, I have my office like in the basement, but it took me a long time. And it still is an occasionally an issue where I'm like, I'm at work, you know, like, and it, it's always fucking fights about it you know like god damn it like i know you want to run to the grocery store but i'm not here right now like i know i'm downstairs and it took like three years to kind of get her used to that and i did rent an office space for a while because i didn't have any write-offs so it was like you know i might as well get a place but then i paid the rent for like eight months and never went so i was like all right well i should probably not not do that but i have been considering it again um it is, it is really easy by the way see when you have everything just sitting there ready to go because see whenever i had to record videos i had to like open my cupboard and set up all the tripods and reset the lighting every time and the whole camera and all that whereas with this place the shit sitting there like good to go i like sit down turn the lights on hit record like that's it I'm, and then i'm good to go and then i just hand the stuff to my editor and i've got and then I've got all my writers like churning out fucking videos as well, but I proofread all the scripts and then I put my own jokes in because theirs are terrible. <laughs> I'm, joking, I'm joking. Well, it'll I'm take joking. him a while to like get your voice, you know, like yeah. you go through that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the only things I need to make changes to the scripts is all the information's correct and accurate and all that stuff, but. Some sometimes they write something like not in the way that I would say it, like with my vocabulary, vocabulary, yeah. and like I, I change those parts. But those are those will be silly things. The the only way for them to know that would for be for them to be psychic. So like I'm not I'm not worried about that. It it took a while for me to even get like my editor. Like I I will you know oftentimes have to like coach them on like shit. Like that's not like funny, <laughs> you know like. Or like yeah. I, you know, his, his intros will get kind of stale or something, and I'll be like, "Hey, come on, man!" You know, like, you know, or you know that my my audience doesn't give a shit about anime or whatever, but they do actually. But anyway, uh, I've got um, the Renaissance Fair this weekend. I've been waiting two years. Uh, Honestly, so, about that, you, you don't stop talking about it. It's the Renaissance Fair. It's actually yeah. this weekend finally reopens it's usually opens up on like memorial day or whatever it is it's, it's usually been open for a little while but yep it's open no masks i can't no, fucking so you're wait chat, you're doing the chain mail or, or whatever you're talking about? uh the first time i go i won't do anything i might i might buy something when i'm there uh but yeah. um it depends because like really this construction the house is sucking up all my you know, like I can't exactly justify a $400 custom mail set that has to be twice as long as anybody else. Cause of my big fat belly, you know, like they're, they're like, Oh, you want some, you want some mail? That's a custom set for someone who's, you know, five eleven, 125 pounds. So I'd have to stitch like two of them together. Uh, James. Well, I hope that's fun. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm pumped for it. James says, I uh, can't believe you missed the punchline. Why was Helen Keller not able to drive? Because she was a woman. Also, we call them slam pigs in Utah. That's disparaging. Um, slam pig is an excellent name for a band. <laughs> yeah, this is, is yeah. slam pig. <laughs> yeah, this, I used... this song's called Fuck You Slut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I used to play with a band called 40 Ounces of Afterbirth, and I always thought that that was the best punk band name of anybody I'd ever played with. Like there, and I had, there were like some, I mean, there were some classics too. Uh, yeah. Malicious Gore says, get, get, go woke, go broke. It's inevitable because those who support it only use our money. And Dixie Normus for five says, I haven't finished drink or stream and you'll make me donate again. On a side note, did you guys like the Van Helsing movie? Never seen any reviews. It was 
cheesy but fine, I think, right? Are you talking about the um who is in it? Um what the fuck was his name? Hugh Jackman. That one? That was I mean it really yeah, wasn't. That sounds you know, completely gay. Yeah, I'll it wasn't. With you. I don't I don't I don't do vampire movies. <laughs> they they spent a hundred and sixty million dollars on it and it lost money. I yeah, I don't think it's very good. Um and Dick C. Normus for five says, Happy Bladed Father's Day, Dad. I hope you had a great America Day, Jerry Bear. Thank you. I did. We blew off about a thousand dollars in fireworks and uh and uh had a, a gay old time. That's Very it for this good. week. Yeah, sorry, a little out of it this week. It's been a long fucking week. My dogs are upstairs running around, so I gotta Make sure I take them out, and I got to go watch sports ball in a half hour. So, hey, look at that. I never heard of Bear. A lot of people in chat have never heard of Bearing. He's he's like an OG. Yeah, he's like 75 yeah. years old, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Andy Larry sneaks in with Mad Lad's suggestion, Pete My Pans. Are you, is that supposed to be like Pee My Pants, or is that like really their name? All right. Have a good week, everybody. Sorry. <laughs>